we have this question right here it's asking uh, each suspended weight has a mass m to equal 20 kilogram determine the axial forces in the members of the truss and indicate whether they are in tension or compression so first of all they have given ma uh, mass right here so it means this two acting downside acting downside and weight is going to be equal to 20 times 9.81 which comes out to be 196.2 newton so each each has a 196.2 newton acting on it so this is the first thing we know then uh, so so first of all we have to label this one so let's say this has a force right here force right here b y b x this is pulling down so first of all we have to find a member that has two unknowns so th this one has four this one has three this one has three this one has we know this one already we don't know this one we don't know this one so let's take the d first so d has two unknown i take the d if i take the d it uh, it is making this one d a and here we have d c so let's uh, this is a only possible direction or you can solve for solve taking other direction whichever method you prefer if you get the uh, negative sign it means uh, you are getting the wrong, wrong direction then you can correct it so taking the direction is not a problem so this is going to be 196.2 newton now what i can do is uh, in this case let's think so first of all if i take summation around x axis we have two or not but if i take some summation around y axis we have uh, we know this y already the, we don't know da so let's do summation around y axis so if we take summation around of y axis summation of force around y axis it's zero in statics let's take opposite positive and if i take opposite positive it's going to be let's say let's say this is uh, alpha this angle is alpha so it's going to be da sine alpha sin alpha minus 196.2 is going to be equal to 0 so I have to calculate this angle right here this alpha so alpha I can use tan theta so let's form this triangle right here this 90 degree so it's going to be tan, al tan inverse alpha is going to be Um, wait a minute. So this is this alpha. So tan inverse opposite over uh, adjacent. Opposite is 0 0.4 meter height divided by this distance is going to be 0 0.32 plus 0 0.12, 0 0.48, 0 0.48. And if I calculate, I will get. 39.81 39.81 degree so this is going to be 39.81 degree so if i if i substitute in this one i will get da is equal to 306.47 6.47 newton and you can by the look you can say the answer is going to be positive so therefore we know that the answer is right and this is since the like if you see something pointing toward the pin joint it means it's in compression so this is in compression that's all we need to know then we have da right here we have found da in the vertical axis since we have da i can calculate dc using this one so let's do summation around x f of x so if i do that 
let's take this side positive zero then it's going to be dc so i have calculated da so since this is going this so this is tension right because dc is pointing toward pin joint da is going away from pin joint therefore this is tension dc is going to be dc dc positive in this direction and minus da cos theta cos alpha cos alpha is equal to zero so we have calculated da already if i substitute in this one i will get dc is equal to 235.42 newton since this is coming positive from the loop you can say this positive and therefore the direction is right and it's facing toward the pin joint so this is compression then uh, so since we have this information now if, when I, since I have CD this become we know this one we know this one so only two are known so I can take C now so if I take C we have CA CA and CD CD we know the direction already so if you know this like directions are going to be opposite to each other so like if you see something like that it means other side is going to be like this if you see something like this the other side is going to be like this so since this is acting toward this so it's going to act toward this one too so this is my DC then the weight is pulling down it's 196.2 then that's all and we also need to know BC right here so first of all we have 196.2 is known and DC is known we know this one then we don't know CA we, we have to find BC so first of all let's think mm, so I can calculate vertical I can't calculate horizontal because horizontal has two unknown but I can calculate vertical vertical has one unknown so let's calculate the vertical component first so if I create summation of Fy is equal to zero If I is equal to zero, then it's going to be C A sine. Uh, let's say this angle is beta. This is beta, and it's going to be positive C A sine beta. C A sine beta, and then we have 196.2 acting downside. 196.2 equal to 0 then I have to find this angle beta right here so let's do the tan inverse so beta is going to be equal to tan inverse opposite o over I just said opposite is 0 0.4 over 0 0.16 so if I calculate this one, I will get beta. Wait a minute. Okay. So this is going to be 68.2 degree. So if I substitute here and find the value, so C A is going to be equal to 211.31. From the look, you can say this is a positive number. Therefore, our direction is right. Since uh, C, C A right C A is acting this side it means tension going away from the pin joint tension now I can find B C using these informations so uh, summation around x is equal to 0 and if I take this direction positive and solve for this one B C is going to be negative because negative direction minus B C minus 
CA cos beta cos beta and DC is negative minus DC these are the values and equal to 0 we know we have to find BC and CA we already know here DC we already know and BC we have to find and BC is going to be a negative number by the look you can say that therefore the direction we took is wrong so I mean we have to correct it let's see so BC is going to be 313.89 Newton when you calculate and this is going to be this direction this is the right direction therefore this is in compression because acting towards green joint therefore this is in compression then we have like so we know BC, BA, CA right so we can move to but here we don't know BY, BX so let's say CA okay, let's move to A, A also has the force right here mm. so here we have one unknown two unknown we know BC already we know AD already we know AC already we know AD already so we can move to A we have two unknown so let's see AX and this one AD AD which direction so AD yeah we found AD already we found this is acting on this direction so it means directions are opposite if this is like this this is going to be like this so here it's going to be like this AD and then we have AC acting on it let's see what is the direction for AC so we found this one positive so this is the right direction so it's since this is like this it's going to be the same approach like this one so it's going to be acting downside and BA we, we don't have any information about BA so we can just assume the direction so this is going to be AD AC and BA so let's see which one we can find if I take horizontal component I have two unknowns AX unknown A B A unknown but if I take vertical I can find BA so it's, let's do summation of f of x f of y is equal to 0 and take upside positive I solve for this one this is going to be AD AD sin alpha sin alpha and it's negative right it's acting downside and AC sin beta AC sin beta then we have BA so B like okay let's see so this is alpha this is beta BA has what so since this is making equal distance so this is also beta so it's gonna be BA sin beta so minus BA sin beta equal to 0 so from this one I can find BA is equal to 422.64 
newton by the look of the equation you can say when it bring this ba this side is going to be a negative number because ad is negative bc is negative so you know the direction I, I i have to i have to change the direction this is not the right direction so if i take the direction and change it so ba is acting this side since we are acting toward pin joint it means it's in compression and this is my final answer and that's all they ask in each suspended have weight has a mass of m20 determine the axial forces in the members of truss indicate whether there is tension or compression okay we have already almost done everything but let's see how we can find bx so you can you can find if you want for example you will do the same approach here we have ba we have found out it's in compression so it's going to be acting toward it it's 420 ba right here then we have bx right here by and then we have bc BC is which direction? BC over here. So we found this direction. It means it's in compression acting toward it. This is BC, right? So if I solve for like to solve for BX, I had to do. I had to take horizontal forces. Do I know B B A B A? I know B C. I know. Therefore, I can find the BX. The sum is around f of x equal to 0 and if it takes this direction positive it's going to be minus b a me b a cos beta cos beta minus b c plus b x equal to 0 that those are the forces right equal to so 0 so I know the bx is going to be positive from the look of this equation and bx comes out to be 470.85 Newton so this is my bx since we have bx right here we can find by same approach sigma uh, fy so fy equal to 0 if I take upper direction positive and this is going to be ba sine beta since I am taking upper direction positive this is going to be minus this is going to be plus by is equal to zero so since we have we know by is going to be positive so by comes out to be uh, so 422.64 sign sign of this value right so you can calculate that that's not necessary to find because when they ask uh, members of the truss so you you all you need is this side this side this side this side this side so if you find everything you are right so you can find b by like this and in case if you want to find ax you can do the summation around of total truss like force you can take the whole truss and equalize forces you're going to get exact same number as bx because uh, these are the only two forces acting on it so you can just uh, I, I, so this is going to be when you do that you will get opposite direction so this is going to be this direction so this is my final answer I hope you guys like this video see you next time